In this example, I'll show you a circuit and we'll use mostly voltage division rule and some um, simplification of combinations of resistors to figure out a bunch of voltages. So this circuit in here has uh, several um, resistors, specifically one, two, three, four, five, six resistors in one voltage source. And we're asked to compute a couple of voltages and that's V1 and V2. So V1 happened to be here, so I'm just going to highlight it. This is V1. What I'm effectively saying is V1 is plus in here and it's minus in here. Okay, and V2 happened to be here, so that's the plus and that's the minus for the V2. And as a recall, this is basically our ground or reference point in here. Okay, so we're asked to compute what V1 and V2 is. Well, if you take a, look, a quick look at the circuit, there are certain things in parallel, certain things in, in series, but I still cannot... Um, readily apply voltage division rule. So I can't say, well, that 30 in here is getting divided between the 10 and the 30. And the reason why, even though they might appear to be connected in series, they're not in series. R3 and R4 are not in series. So what we need to do, we need to do a little bit of um, simplifications in order to get and uh, to use a VS as basically the source and apply it to a couple of resistors. So specifically, I'll highlight them in here. Um, what we have is we, we should be able to recognize the R4, R5, and R6 are all in parallel because they do share a um, pair of points or pair of nodes, this node in here and this node in here, they do share it. And they just happen to have also the same voltage V2. And I can substitute these um, with R, let me call it RB for example, and that will be R4 in parallel with R5 in parallel with R6. And that value would be 30 in parallel with 60 kilo ohms in parallel with 80 kilo ohms. And that's simply, um, I believe it will be 16 kilo ohms. Okay, all right, uh, another um, pair of resistors or a bunch of resistors that we can combine. I believe these two here will be in series and then the result, which is 40 kilo ohms, will be in parallel with the 10 kilo ohms and we'll be able to replace um, these resistors in here. So that here will become uh, something like this in here. It will become, let me call it, for example, RA. It will be R1 plus R2 and the result will be in parallel with R3. That's simply 10 plus 30 in parallel with a 10 and that result will become I believe it will be 8 kilo ohms and that will be RA. So let me redraw this circuit with these two simplifications combined. All right so after redrawing the circuit um, it will appear these here three will be these um, this blue circuit uh, this blue resistor in here which is I called it RA and it's 8 kilo ohms and these three resistors in here will be here. So let's take a look at the voltage of interest. Of course, because I combined R1 and R2 together, so this V1 basically disappears. I won't be able to see it um, in this um, simplified circuit. However, for V2, I basically, it's the same V2 across these red resistors. So technically I still have it. So it still exists, this here, this is plus, this is minus, this is V2. And of course this will be my reference point in here anyway. All right, so now I believe we should be able to figure out a V2 right away using voltage division rule. And if you take a look at it, now I can apply voltage division of the VS because these two resistors in here are connected in series. So that voltage VS gets divided between the RA and the RB. And what I'm interested in is V2. So simply V2 will happen to be VS times RB divided by RA plus RB. And that number will be 30, will be 16 divided by 8 plus 16, which is simply 20 volts. So we know that V2 happened to be 20 volts in here. So this here is 20 volts. Oh, let me write that in the right place. This one here is 20 volts. Okay. So what about the V1? Well, we can't figure out V1 from this simplified circuit, so we're gonna have to take a look in here to see what is V1. Well, V1 is uh, the voltage drop between this point and this point. So I technically can't use voltage division right away to do that, but what I can pay attention to is the following, that these two resistors are in series. So if I can apply voltage division on the voltage that comes from here to here, for example, I'll be able to figure out what that voltage is. So if I say, what is the voltage between these two points, which is pretty much the same as saying what's the voltage across this R3, which is the same as the voltage that is in here. That's the same voltage in here. So what I'm, what I'm saying in here is we will be able to figure out what the voltage across the R3 simply from the simplified circuit in here. 
and the voltage division which is 30 got divided into 20 and of course that must be 10 but we can compute it and I'm gonna call it VA so this here plus minus in here that will be the VA so VA is simply VS which is 30 volt times RA divided by RA plus RB you can do the computation but of course a 30 volts got divided and we got 20 in here so there must be 10 in here so that must be 10 so that's 10 volts. So what we know now is the voltage between here and here, that's VA. We know that this is simply 10 volts. And this here, I can treat it as the source for th that gets divided between R1 and R2. So if I assume that this one here happened to be plus minus VR1, and this is here plus minus VR2, I should be able to compute VR2 or VR, uh, VR1. But that doesn't give me V1 readily, and the reason why is because V1 is simply a voltage between here and here, so I have to figure out a way around it. Well, as it turns out that if you write KVL or KCL or whatnot, like you'll figure out that V1 is simply the addition of this voltage in here and this voltage in here, which is V2. Okay, so if I can figure out what VR2 is, and this V, which happened to be V2, I should be able to figure out what V1 is. So this is one way to, uh, to do that. Another way to do it is um, to figure out what VR1 is, and we can do that. And if we do, we'll figure out that this here is Vs, and this is V1, and I know the voltage VR1, and I can do a little bit of algebra and, um, and compute what VR1 is. You can do it either way. I'll do it the second method, which is tells me, like, use VA as a source that gets divided between the 10 and the 30, figure out what the voltage drop across the 10 at that point is, basically out of that 10 volts, how much did, it, did the 10 kilo ohm get? And that will call it VR1. And from there, what I'll do is I'll say, well, I know that this point in here is the same point in here, um, which happened to be the VS, and I'm interested in V1. Well, VR1 happened to be VS minus V1. That's simply what it is. And we'll go from there. So let me just um, write that. So what I'm saying is, let's figure out what VR1 is. So VR1 is simply V of S. And in this particular case, my V of S happened to be this one here, which is VA. Okay, so that's here. Let me just do this here so that I don't have to scroll up and down. So that's basically VA times the voltage drop that I'm interested in is across R1 divided by R1 plus R2. And you can do this computation and it'll become 10 times 10 divided by 10 plus 30, which is simply 10 divided um, or um, 100 divided by 40, which is simply 2.5 volts. So this is 2.5 volts. All right. So we know that this voltage here is simply 2.5 volts. Okay, so how can we use this fact to compute what um, my interest in, my, what I'm interested in? Well, we know that this point in here is Vs, and what we can say is Vs minus V1, Vs minus V1 happen to be the same as Vr1, and Vs, we know that Vs is simply 30 volts. Okay, so we do this here, it's 30 volts minus V1, this is what we're interested in, equals Vr1, which is 2.5. So we do a little bit of algebra, we'll get V1 is simply 30 minus 2.5, which is simply 27.5 volts. Of course, the other method is um, to just go to R2 in here, so we can use that 10. We know that um, part of it, which is 2.5, got in here, so that means 7.5 volts got in here. So 7.5, and then we added the voltage drop across here, which is 20. 7.5 plus 20 is 27.5. You can do it that way too.